Hello again and thank you for watching my channel Diecast Power the Coast and Restoration. Today we'll be restoring a Bedford O-Type removals van made in 1957 in green. Firstly my apologies for the slightly out of focus shot. Uh, this is my new camera today uh, which doesn't seem to like doing close-ups. Never mind we shall carry on with the restoration and also there was no sound so you've got some lovely background music but i will be uh, commentating as we go thank you well here she is it's a matchbox bedford o-type removals van made in 1957 in green they did make three different colors in 1955 it was blue 1956 was red and in 1957 is green Okay, so we'll make a start on the wheels now. These are the crimped type wheels, so I'm going to uncrimp them by just squashing the crimp the opposite way, which usually does uh, enable you to get the wheels off. It uh, can be a little bit of a struggle, but uh, you do eventually get there in the end with perseverance. Also, I thought I'd mention that I'm not sponsored by Costa Coffee in any way. I work on the railway, so I use these old adverts for the trains to work on. Mind you, I do like Costa Coffee. Eventually we move on to the front wheels, which is a little bit easier than the rear ones. There we go, that's done it. Okay, into the garden now for the media blasting. As I mentioned in the last video, I have to take it outside as it tends to put aluminium oxide all over my motorbikes and other things. Okay, back from the media blaster now. The overall condition is uh, it's not too bad. And now giving the casting a good wire brushing. Now this is what I didn't do in my last video. You need to put the casting into the oven for 10 minutes and that gets all the impurities out of the uh, out of the metal. It's now cooled down for a few minutes so we're now going to give it a wipe of acetone to remove those impurities that have come out in the oven. Back to my powder coating booth, the garden, giving it a coat of Electrostatic Magic Mid Green. Now 
and back into the preheated oven 180 degrees for 10 minutes back out of the oven now by preheating it it's definitely made the plate a lot smoother Time now to give the wheels a good clean in soapy water using the Weiss toothbrush. I'm now cleaning the axles with the rotary drill and some sandpaper. Now putting the freshly cleaned wheels and axles back onto the model. A little bit easier this time than getting them off. Also painted the grill with some silver paint. I'm not the most neatest person at doing uh, intricate work, so I do that off camera. But it's not come out too bad. The bumper's also done in silver. Now time to start putting the decals on. As normal, I use some cotton buds just to dab some water onto the side of the model. Here's that music now, which is coming up towards the end now. I've left it in the water for about 30 seconds. It's just starting to slide off now. So just slide it slightly, slide it off. And once that's done, using the cotton buds, just dab it down and uh, dry it a bit. Okay, and this is what she looked like. Once again, slightly blurred, but this is what she looked like. Bit of a faded front. Little bits of paint missing. And with a new camera, this is what she looks like now after restoration. Thank you once again for watching my video. I hope you do like it and please subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.